hear a word, please? Any word. Perm. Stupid. I heard perm. Perm. You said perm? Yeah. Perm. Perm. Thank you. Looks good. Thank you. I'm just not sure why you decided to shave it all off. No, I don't. I see you still have your luscious, flowing hair. <laughs> yeah, that's why people call me Samson. gym to train, okay? I have a UFC fight in like two weeks. We're going to be in this together. You're going to grow your hair out, just like I'm growing mine out. And then you come in, your hair's all shaved. What the hell? You always tell me if you ain't hurting, you ain't working. And now you're going to go down. You're going to say like, oh, I'm sweating. That's too much. How am I, when I step in the octagon, I have to go through sweat, blood, sweat, tears, sweat. That's, that's far away. We're here in the gym, so I gotta get, get started. All right, let's start with two. With two pounds? I can't even like see, you hold, you have like two of them in both of your hands. That's four. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's eight, but it don't work. She's She's not kind of matching. <laughs> <laughs> it's a space of whatever. Right, I'm not supposed to do. So you're bigger than me, and now you're smaller than me, sir. Oh, I get it. I get it. I shake my head and try to impress you, and you just kept going out and going to fire. You're trying to. Who are you fighting? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like you're trying to. You're trying to impress me. I, I've been training this hard to impress you. That's why I have this bravado. That's why it's such so strong and dominant masculinity because I can't come into this gym and have you not respect me. Do you like the long hair? It's not about liking the long hair. We're in this together. This is some gift of the man guy kind of. How do you? How can you not multiply two by four? <laughs> the gift of the man guy. <laughs> anyway, English literature major. You've never. You've literally never mentioned that. <laughs> oh, you're here, thank God. I thought you were going to stand me up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you don't like it, huh? You don't like the house? I mean, it's, it's all right. It's okay. It's going to be like this permanently once we built it. I mean, there are changes I might think about possibly maybe making. You've got to touch the house. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that's safe. I don't know if that's safe. I might get attached. That's what happens when we buy a house together. Do do? Oh, I didn't, I didn't mean to you. I meant to the house. <laughs> I mean, I'm already kind of attached to you, you sort of. You get attached to things by touching them. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. We need to find the perfect house, though, because that way if I get attached to it, it's already perfect. Well, I have to get attached to things that are perfect. I brought the Sunday Times because there's a lot of classifieds, so I want to take a look. Is it a really good newspaper? Are they good articles? <laughs> It's just a classified. <laughs> 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 oh, this is really nice paper. <laughs> <laughs> it's what's on the paper, dude. Oh my god. Yeah. Here. These are such nice words they use to hope. describe these houses. Want some chips? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can let go of this paper in order to get them. Thank <laughs> you.
We're buying a house together. <laughs>
let's get, let's do the next farm thing. <laughs> okay. Let's what milk, other farm thing should we get? Let's milk that cow. I think we should definitely get a lot of milk out of that cow. Because, you know, like, unpasteurized milk is the best. It's, like, really good for you. Can he drink unpasteurized milk? Actually, my dog is really good at milking cows. <laughs> okay. He's great. Do it! Do it! It's your best trick! They're gonna love it at home! Oh my god! What a loser! Paris, that's... That's so insensitive. <laughs> well, we need to get our unpasteurized milk somehow. <sighs> Let's do the next thing. I agree! <laughs> I think we should like go check on chickens or something. I think that's a thing. Yeah. Do you want to go check on the chickens? Oh, There's a chicken thing. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a lot bigger than I expected. First, we have to put on this chicken suit so the chickens don't think we're not humans. That's a great idea. <laughs> Your dog is coming on to our chicken suits. <laughs> I changed myself thoroughly without regarding how you felt about it. Tell me how to feel about every single line. 
I think I should switch majors. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
It's a great idea, Matt. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of state fairs, county fairs. <laughs> yeah. And just because our drummer died doesn't mean we can't still play. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, since we're at this county fair, I think we just play. Fuck uh, getting permits and an audience. Yeah, fuck Zane. One Direction never need them anyways. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. That's totally... Harry, let's go! Get the guitars! So when did One Direction learn to play? I'm gonna give them one of these classic One Direction hard rock licks. <laughs> that everybody comes to know and expect. Right. You don't know you're beautiful. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was great. Someone's cheering. That person, Harry, has a same tattoo. Wait, no, no, no. His arm is exposed. It actually looks like it's a Nicole Richie tattoo. <laughs> what? You don't know you're beautiful, Nicole Richie. <laughs> Wait, you mean like on the planet Pluto? Yeah, just like the one they put there. I mean, nobody. Sorry. Nobody. I thought nobody knew that that song was for Nicole Richie. In fact, all of our songs are written for Nicole Literally Richie. Literally every single one. Any direction One Direction song is written for Nicole Richie. For Annabelle. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it's a fact. Thank you! <laughs>